Hey guys, Harry here from the Art Gear Guide. Thank you very much for joining me today again. Um, I just want to make a, a say a couple of things before I get into this review. Um, the last video that I put out there, which was the uh, about the Derwent um, giveaway and you, the the Derwent artist range. I put that video out late at night and then I went to bed and when I woke up in the morning I had noticed that there was a lot of spam. A lot of you guys have been spammed. Uh, it looked like that there was some message underneath any message that you had put. Another message had come in and said uh, to text uh, to, to, to me or something like that and um, you would win $140 or, or give me $140. I got all that sorted out, okay, uh, I blocked all of that, reported it all to, to YouTube, made sure that YouTube were um, understood that anybody that had commented had to be protected, that, that YouTube had to make sure that their, that their details and all of that were protected, uh, and I've got assurance from YouTube that that has happened. But going forward, what I want to say is, in the five or six years I've been running this channel, I've never asked you guys for money, and I never ever will. So if you see anything at all, because uh, I know these scams are really good, and this one had uh, like my logo uh, beside it, but and it wasn't called the Art Gear Guide; it was called the Gear Guide or something, the Gear Guy or something like that. I can't remember what it was, but if you looked at the logo as well, the logo was blurred out. Um, but I, if you ever see anything like that again from me, or it looks like it's from me, and it's asking you for money, you know immediately it is not me. I will never, ever ask anybody for money, and I will certainly never do anything like that. Um, when I do these competitions, the, to if you win the, the, the gift, it's really simple. All you have to do is email me not text me not go on social media that's why i've i've done it so that when you when you contact me via my email address that way the email address is protected and all the rest of it i've got lots of different things in place to make sure that anybody emailing me that that they're uh like virus protectors and stuff like that so but i but i apologize as well that it happened in the first place it should never have happened it's the first time it's ever happened to me, but nevertheless, it's still quite scary when it happens. And these morons that write these bits of code in order to scam people should be put up against a wall and shot, in my opinion, because they're stealing money from people and they're doing it in other people's name and it's disgusting. Um, so that that's my little rant over about that. And like I say, I apologise uh, to everyone who was affected by it, uh, or who had that comment underneath their, their comments. So anyway, as you can see here, I've got a review of the, the sketch markers. Now, there's a bit of a story behind this. Again, I will give you a, a timestamp where you can scroll to and just get straight into the video, because I know that this one's going to be a little bit longer, and there's a good reason behind that. The company that makes these markers are from the Ukraine, and I have been... the the company reached out to me just before the the invasion of Russia into the Ukraine and, I, and it asked me if I would do a review of the, these markers because they're now starting to sell them in the UK and the US. Um, whereas, because I've known about these markers for a long time and I've seen people use them on like Instagram and what have you and I've been really, really wanting to get my hands on them for about two years now. To review them so when the the company contacted me i was like over the moon i was jumping at the chance to 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 review these markers um then obviously the war happened now i'm not going to get into the politics of the war because believe me as a soldier who has on had the terrible misfortune of um combat and all the rest of it the politics of war you and I will never, ever know the truth behind it. Whether you look at a country now and you think that what's happening to them is bad or you look at a country and think whatever they're doing is bad, blah, blah, blah. And all the other politicians that get involved in it, believe me, not one of those politicians 
Not one of them have ever fought in a war. And not what not many of them have children that fight in the, the armies of their countries as well. So it's all very well and good them sending people into war at, on a whim and all the rest of it. But very few of them are prepared to do it themselves and even fewer are prepared to send their children in to do the same thing. So I'm not going to get into the politics but between this war. But what I can say is when I was talking to the the, 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 the CEO of this company and uh, uh, another rep, I was talking while they were running to, to save their life, to save their families' lives. They were literally still trying to do business with me, trying to maintain their business while fighting for their life. And I can't tell you how much I admire what these people are doing. Um, at the end of this, I'll show you a link, uh, and it's a verified link. I, I have spoke to um, the, the Ukraine government via email. Uh, this company is... Um, has given me a link where if anybody wants to make a donation to for the people of Ukraine that are under attack, this link will take you directly to the Ukraine government. Um, and the reason why I wanted that set up was because I, I, I know there are other various charities, you know, uh, fundraising for Ukraine and all the rest of it, but I don't know them and I don't want to get into understanding whether the money that they are getting, they're legitimately putting into the people. So this one is... Uh, a government funded charity it's run by I think part of the United Nations and stuff like that have made sure that this has all been set up right as, as well so uh, if you do want to make a donation to the people of Ukraine like I say this link will take you directly to a safe place where the money that you donate will go to the people of the Ukraine and not anywhere else um but I just wanted to make that clear. Um, I can't tell you how much I admire this, the, the people who work in this company. And I'm not just talking about the CEO and stuff like that. I'm talking about everybody that works for this company. Like I say, the reps. While they have been fleeing for safety, they're still communicating with me and you know, talking to me about the troubles they're going through. But at the same time, making sure I have everything I need to be able to do a review. That, I mean, to me, that's crazy. They're, they should be just concentrating on their life right now. But they're still wanting to make sure that the people that they've brought in to review their products are still being looked after. And I just, I, I, I can't even begin to tell you how much I admire these people. That being said, let's get into taking a look at the, the products that they do. And like I say, you know, this is a company that's been around for a bit now. Uh, and I've watched them grow. And like I say, I, I couldn't get told of these products for like about two years. But now because they're starting to sell them in the UK and the US, it's obviously going to be a lot easier. They're still, obviously because of the war and because of the restrictions they put on the people. And the company is pretty much fragmented at the minute because people are seeking refuge in different parts of Ukraine and different parts of the world and stuff like that. So they're not working as, a, um, as, as one unit the way a company would do at the minute but once all of hopefully when all of this settles down and they can get back into doing what they're doing um then all of the products that they sell will be available in the us and the uk at the minute it's just like little bits little drips and drabs but i'll have links down below so anyway here we go as you can see here the the set they have got tons of sets so let me just tell you exactly how many how many markers at the minute they have 400 colors in their range i think it's 399 and, and then the um the blender brush but this i think it's either this year the end of this year or next year they're introducing another 48 colors or that's the plan um and so that will bring the total up to 448 colors total uh, across the board now that is a huge amount of uh, colors when you take into consideration Copic have 358 and at, at the minute I think Copic are well up until this number all the markers I've reviewed have come close to that 358 but they haven't quite 
exceeded it or matched it just yet. I think uh, Ardex are one of the closest ones to that number. But obviously now the sketch marker brand they're already at 400 so they're cons they've still got a considerable amount more than the Copic colours and they're looking to introduce this other 48 colours next year or the end of this year so that's that's quite a significant amount of colours now that can be to the advantage of the artist but it can also be a disadvantage as well because when you have such a wide selection of colours especially if you know you collect the entire collection it can make the it can overcomplicate things. Sometimes simple is okay, uh, but the, the, at the end of the day, that's down to uh, a personal thing, an individual thing. If you can handle with having four hundred and forty eight colors in front of you, and you can pick and choose without wasting too much of your day selecting colors, then it'll be for you. I have the the, the full Copic range. Uh, and I do find it difficult sometimes going through all the colours to make sure I'm getting the right colour from my um, project. Mo all of them come in these great little sets. So you can get like sets of 6, sets of 12. This one here is 12 skin tones. Uh, you'll see some uh, images popping up on your screen here. The so the set I'm showing you now is a set of 12 skin tones. Then there is this one here which is a sketch marker which is basic set five uh, and a lot of the sets are numbered i mean there are tons of sets that you can get um i think i'll have all the numbers of the different sets that you can get over on the written review this one here is a 24 set uh this is a flower set and this is another good thing all these different sets are broken down in different kind of genres uh, this set here is the uh, 36 set and it's the tropics so you know the images on the front tell you what what the, the colors inside are going to be good for but obviously as well it says on the front now each set as you can see are in these little wallet forms now these wallets are, are canvas so let me just quickly show you this one here so as you can see through this canvas material, there's a little handle on the top of them. Every one of them has this sketch marker uh, and their website address printed on the, the flap of the bag. On the very back, there's like this little zip as well, uh, which opens up um, a little pouch where you can put different things like if you're out and about with your markers and you want to have some pencils or an eraser sharpener or something like that you can just drop those in there or a small sketchbook again just drop it in the in the back there so every single one of the 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 sets are like this doesn't matter what size you get whether you get a, you know the 12 or the um the 24 the 36 or whatever doesn't matter what set you get they're all exactly the same so they have two different types of marker so they have the sketch marker which is this one here and as you can see here along the barrel it just says sketch marker uh, on either s uh, end of the barrel you have two little icons depicting the the nib type uh, the caps have these little lips on them to prevent the markers from rolling because they're they're obviously a round barrel on the end of each cap there is a pigment that or like a color id so a, the same color that's on the cap is the same color that's in the marker and then obviously there is a color name and number so like y22 uh, but they're printed on both sides of the caps now, like I said, they have these little icons here. And so with the sketch marker, it has a bullet nib and um, a chisel nib on the end. So the light gray barrel markers, which are just called the sketch markers, uh, have the chisel nib and the bullet nib on there. 
The next marker is the, the marker that I've used most, and that is the uh, Sketch Marker Brush Pro. That's the black barrel marker. Pretty s similar to the um, the Sketch Marker. Oh, I but before I, um, I finish on the Sketch Marker, actually, although there's two little icons on either side of the barrel here depicting the the broad nib or the bullet nib on the sketch marker there is this little gray ring when you put the cap on it touches the cap but it's only on one side of the marker and the gray ring is where the bullet nib is and again it's just another way of helping you to quickly indicate uh, which nib you're going to get when you undo the cap same with the brush marker here as you can see on this black barrel it has this little grey band here again that depicts the type of nib that you're going to uh, reveal once you remove the marker cap along the barrel here uh, again you've got the two icons depicting the nib types as with the other marker the uh, color names and numbers are printed on both sides of the barrel or sorry both sides of the caps and obviously the, the color ID as well. And the, the brush marker also has these little lips here on the, the lid to prevent the, the marker rolling off. So the brush marker, as, as you might imagine, has a chisel nib and it also has a brush nib. Now the brush nib is, I, I've used it quite a lot. I've done quite a few drawings with them. And it, none, of, none of the brush nibs that I've used thus far have frayed or anything like that. They've kept their point. There, there is flex in them, but it's not. So if you've used the, this is just my opinion, but if you've used the, the Winsor & Newton brush, uh, brush markers, I find their brush nib just a little bit too flexible. Uh, I, I think that it's more like a, uh, a watercolor brush packed with color uh, not quite as soft but it, it is a soft and it's quite a flexible brush nib um, this nib has quite a bit of flex in it it's perfect for blending but it's nowhere near as like flexible as the Windsor Newton one so you I think you have a little bit more control with this brush nib and I'll show you about laying down color in a second. So that's the two markers. And by the way, the the color range. So they've got 400 colors of the, the, the sketch marker. And they've got 400 colors in the sketch marker brush pro. Now, they also do um, refills for these markers. And they are 20 mil refills. So the old Copic... They, they look quite similar to the old Copic refill, the one that Copic have just done away with. The The old Copic refills were 25 mil. So these ones are 20 mil. So, so a, still a fair bit of uh, ink. You can also get um, replacement nibs for these markers as well. So Sketch Marker have really, you know, got a full range of everything that you need for these markers. So once you buy them, you can buy the refills as and when you need them and the refills will last you an awful long time. Sketch Marker also sent me uh, a set of their line markers. So, they're, sorry, their line pens, their fine, fine liners. So I've been using those as well. And as you can see here from the little this little sketch drawn that I've done, which incidentally is... Um, was done in a pad that they sent me this is the sketch marker and graphic line sketchbook the paper inside this is gorgeous absolutely gorgeous and even when you open the 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 pad there's kind of like a little individual page here that that is loose and it's there for you to slot underneath the page that you're going to be working on so that if there is any bleeding and it goes through it's going to go through on that spare page so they've thought of everything but as you can see the the, the artwork that i'm showing you here was done in this little sketch marker book 
and it was done using the sketch marker brush pro pens and obviously as well it was done using the uh the sketch marker fine liners which are really really nice the pigment in on them is really rich um as you can see here, the, the markers or the, the pens themselves are white with written down the side of the barrel, just sketch marker and then liner. And then on the very end here, the nib size is printed. So it's very, very clear, very, very easy to see. Uh, it also says here that it's a water based pigment ink, acid free, light fast, non bleeding, uh, waterproof. And then it just says close cap after use. If you, um, remove the lid you can see here that the it's a like a metal nib sorry it's a metal sheath holding the nib sorry that's the correct terminology but it's very it's very comfortable to hold in your hand uh and use this it's a i mean it, i know fine liners are fine liners there's not really much difference between them all so there is subtle differences but I just found these really nice and comfortable to use. So the artwork that I did with the, the sketch marker brush pro was this character from, I think it's Wreck-It Ralph, but I seen this little character and I thought this would be a good character to, to draw just to show how bright and vibrant the, the markers actually are. Uh, I really enjoyed it. The, it was done on Bristol smooth paper, um, Frisk's Bristol smooth paper, really nice paper. If you want to watch a speed drawing of this, I'll have a link to it down below. You can go across, there'll be a speed drawing up and there'll also be still images over on the Art Gear Guide where you can click on the image, enlarge them and take a little, take a better look at kind of like the brush strokes and what have you. So I'm going to use this little uh, sketch marker pad that they sent me for um, the purpose of this demonstration and it. I'm really just going to show you how well it blends uh, and again this is down to the texture of the paper which is super smooth it's got this gorgeous film on it it is perfect for these markers and um, I'm, I'm just going to show you that now so I'm just going to use the brush pro so as you can see here I just start off here with the lightest color and just flick it out like that and you can see once, let me zoom down here a little bit for you. Okay, so you can see I'm using the flat of the, the side of the, the brush nib because I want a nice even layer. But at the same time, I'm lifting it off as, as I'm getting to the end of it here. And you can see it feathering out there. So then I come in with Uh, the next color I want to feather back in this way here because I want this blend to be perfect and again I'm doing the same action here and you can see how smooth this paper is but you can see how well the marker is don't worry about that I'm going to come in with the third color now or in a second but I need to come back in with the lighter color and just blend that out like so that those feather marks aren't there anymore so I'm coming back in with my second color because I had a, a I've created a like a line here and I don't want that so I again just coming back with this flicking motion And then I'm going to come in now with the, the darker color. Now I can create a line there and just again come back in with this flick in motion too. But you can again you can see how juicy and vibrant these markers are. And then just clean that up again. Unfortunately, when you're when you're doing these gradients with markers and stuff like that, you just gotta go over it 
a few times just to get it perfect but you can see there it's it's blended quite nicely the the colors blend and merge in together like i say there's there's 400 colors so you can create all the different blends that you want there's no issue there whatsoever um another thing that i like about these markers now i don't i'm not a a big fan of the the chisel nibs the chisel nibs i i i love watching urban sketchers like the 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 the, the people that do the um like architectural art and they they use that i think the the artwork that they do with markers is fantastic and they normally use these uh chisel nibs But, but for me, a lot of them don't seem to connect with the paper right. There just seems to be, because of the, the, the angle of them and what have you, you can often not get an even coverage. But with these sketch markers, that is not the case. The, the coverage that you get with them is perfect. There's no... Um, there, there's no lifting off there's no little bits that are missed or anything like that and that's I find that sometimes to be the case with these chisel nibs but not with these sketch markers uh, the good thing about the a lot of people who, who use markers like these because you can cover in big areas with with the, the, the broad nib but you've also got um, a finer part of the the marker that you can also create just using the very tip of it um i'm just using the side of it here just trying to vary the the marks that you can get but the the coverage in any case from the sketch marker broad nibs is beautiful and again as you can see when i'm covering here the 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 ink flow is just almost perfect there's again the the coverage is just you can see there the coverage is there's no issues whatsoever with it and that's that so I'll also have a written review over on the Art Gear Guide and over there I will have listed as many of the sets as I can get into the to the review. With regards to the the sketch marker, that's the, the grey one, the one that has the bullet nib and the chisel nib. Um, they have a total of 43 different sets. And with the Brush Pro, they have a total of 75 different sets. They also have an Aqua Marker. Um, I think the, the Aqua Marker, they don't have as many colors in that range. I think they have a total of 72 colors in the Aqua range. But with the Brush Pro, like I say, they have these uh, sets that I've just shown you. And they range from... Um, a, like sets of six uh sets of 12 sets of 24 they go all the way up to these huge sets of 96 now the 96 sets um they come in a case and there's kind of like a like a pers perspex case that holds all the markers together they look absolutely gorgeous and i would love to get a couple of these 96 sets um, they also have sets because I don't have any greys with me to, to show you but they also have sets like neutral greys, warm greys, cool greys, uh, things like that. So if you enjoy, if the art that you're doing needs greys, uh, they've got sets for those as well. Like I say, in both the Sketch Marker and the Sketch Marker Brush Pro. Um, I think that's really about it. But finally, before I go as well, inside each little set, you you get um, like a little swatch that you can 
uh, let me just um, all thumbs here so in this one here shows you here 448 color palette um, and inside this little booklet they have all the numbers uh, and all the names of the colors I mean the, the the range of colors that they have is just absolutely phenomenal I would love one day to own the entire collection and just try to you know use them uh, constructively but anyway you, you get that inside some of the sets and if you don't get the full one you'll get uh, just like a little card uh, where you can fill in the color palette of what's inside that set so you get that but also as well which I think is very cool inside the sets the different sets you get these little uh, drawings and they're done on marker paper as well so you can just get your markers uh, and, and fill them in color them in um, you won't get any bleeding or anything like that on these little paper, these little projects because they're proper marker paper. So I just think that's a great idea that right out of the set you can get st stuck into doing some artwork with the with the markers. Uh, I think that this came in the um, in the thirty six set that I had uh, a little set of stickers or decals, whatever you want to call them, but they. And you get these little cards as well inside the sets. And it just gives you their social media uh, links, which I'll have down below in any case, and hashtags. So they have these hashtags so that if you do any art with their markers or their line markers or any, any other products, just put these hashtags in and they will see your work and, you know, showcase it or comment on it or whatever. So that's really about it guys like i said i will have a written review of of these markers over on the the art gear guide which like i say will have links and all the rest of it uh it'll also have the link if you want to donate to this uh crisis going on in ukraine and the people that's entirely up to you it's a completely individual thing i am not suggesting one way or the other that anybody makes a donation to that uh cause because you all have to make that decision individually on your own it has nothing to do with me but i just wanted to put it down there because as someone who has been in a situation like this i know how scary it can be for the civilian i know how scary it can be for soldiers and i also know how scary it can be for civilians as well so um i just wanted to make sure that if you did want to support the people of ukraine that the link i supply is a link that is going to that I've researched and I know that the money collected from it will go to the people of Ukraine. Um, so that link will be down below in this video. It'll also be over on the, the written review of the art gear guide. The markers themselves are excellent. Really nice coverage on the, the, the broad nib. The, um, the brush nibs are for me personally just the right flexibility there's been no fraying so far of any of the brush nibs uh because i know that that can sometimes happen uh the color selection like it's a 448 colors total that's a huge amount of colors obviously i you know i'm going to be honest with you you as as an individual artist you do not need that even with markers um but they have got colors they've got sets for every genre of art that you can think of that you might want to work with with markers they've got it and you can also come back in on top with colored pencil i did that with the artwork that i did with using these you know i used uh prismacolor i think it was and a couple of other different pencils i think i used some uh faber castell polychromos and i also i think i used um some kind of luminance on top just to just to fill in the detail that type of thing but they absolutely play well with pencils as well on top of them so there's no issues there either the line markers the pigment in the line markers is very very rich uh and it doesn't bleed either so when you go over it you could see in the little sketch that i showed you I had done some line work there and when I went over it with the markers there was no bleeding there was no like pickup of black pigment or anything like that so uh, it's all you know designed to work hand in hand with these markers and that's really about it guys 
If you've got any questions that you'd like to ask me about these markers, or if, if you've got anything you would like me to ask the CEO of this company, uh, I will absolutely um, put the question to them. But it will just give them time because, like I say, they are under terrible conditions at the minute. Um, they're fragmented in the sense that they're all over the place, living with different people and what have you. And uh, it's just an all round terrible situation for these people to be faced in. And to be able to continue to run a business at the same time, um, it's pretty spectacular. So thank you so much for watching this review. Uh, I look forward to seeing you again in, in the next video. I'm trying to, you know, now that I'm back in the studio, I'm trying to make sure that I'm getting out as many videos as I possibly can. Um, and like social media and stuff like that. I'm trying to be a little bit more present, a little bit more frequently on all my social media platforms as well. Because of other things, because of family things, I, I just wasn't present for uh, quite a while there. But... Now that's all died down, I'm back up and firing on all cylinders and I shall see you all very, very soon. Thank you so much for all your support and all your wonderful comments. I can't tell you how much I appreciate them all. Thank you so much. Bye. Yeah.